From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Diane Parker. Miller has our Friday forecast, plus a missing Billings woman is found alive. But first, our top story. A homeless man is facing a felony rape charge after allegedly raping a 14-year-old girl near the Bozeman Ponds. According to court documents, it happened Wednesday night around 9 o'clock. Police received two calls from Haven, a local nonprofit serving survivors of domestic violence and assault. They say this man, Norlin Eli Schwazo Martinez, was trying to get inside the building. The mother of the young girl says her daughter was intoxicated and told her she had been raped. Schwazo Martinez allegedly said he and the victim had sexual intercourse inside his tent and he thought she was 26 or 27 years old. We reached out to Haven and though they could not comment on this specific case, they did highlight their security precautions and standards when it comes to gaining entry into their building. When Haven moved to our public location, we knew that we'd have to make a significant investment in our security. We've done that and we're committed to making sure that our property is a safe place for residents. Last night when an individual tried to gain access to our property, that security system held up. This failed security breach shows that what Haven is doing in partnership with local authorities is working. Schwazo Martinez appeared in Gallatin County Justice Court Thursday, where it was revealed he is serving a prior six-month suspended sentence from 2023. His bail was set at $100,000. A missing person's case we've been tracking ends with the best possible outcome. Billings resident Jeannie Schweigart is alive and safe 10 days after disappearing in South Dakota. A rancher in Hot Springs found her dehydrated and sunburnt lying next to a stock tank on his property. Jeannie's dad wrote on social media that she doesn't remember much about the past 10 days. Authorities sh say that she went for a walk, got disoriented and lost while trying to find her car. A Glendale, Arizona teenager missing since 2019 has been found safe in Haver, Montana. 18-year-old Alicia Navarro entered the local police department, telling officers she wanted to clear her missing status. She asked to speak to her mom and has been reunited with family. Alicia ran away from home and authorities are still trying to learn if she was lured away, if she was staying with anyone, and how she ended up in Haver. One man is in custody and another man is in the hospital after a stabbing in Midtown Missoula yesterday. Law enforcement was called to the area of South Avenue and Johnson Street just before 8 a.m. for a report of a knife fight by Montana Rail Link Park. The Missoula Police Department reports one person went to the hospital and a suspect is being held in the Missoula County Detention Facility. The names and conditions of those involved have not been released. The National Transportation Safety Board says poor track conditions led to a fatal Montana Amtrak derailment almost two years ago. The Empire Builder derailed outside Joplin along Montana's High Line September 25, 2021. Three passengers died and 49 people were injured. According to the NTSB, a combination of factors including worn rail, vertical track deflection, track misalignment, and subgrade instability contributed to two locomotives and 10 cars leaving the track. Take a look at this video captured by viewer Amanda Colgrove. A wildfire right on the edge of Interstate 90 near Park City sparked a wreck yesterday afternoon. A semi collided with a pickup, sending it onto the grass, sparking the flames. The Columbus Fire Department was able to put the fire out after it burned about an acre and a half. The pickup driver was transported to the hospital for medical treatment. Late last night, the Senate passed a critical national defense policy bill, setting up a showdown with the Republican-controlled House. The House passed its own version of the National Defense Authorization Act earlier this month, but adopted a series of controversial amendments surrounding service members, access to abortion and drag events on military bases. Now lawmakers will need to reconcile the Senate bill and the House bill by negotiating a compromise version that can pass both chambers. Montana senators are on opposite sides of the issues, but agree this needs to get done. Look, we're having a time in the Marine Corps right now because we've got one senator who's holding up all promotions until uh, we have a social issue dealt with. This is just irresponsible. The DOD uses Montanans 
hard-earned taxpayer dollars to sponsor and promote drag queen performances. I think it's divisive. The national defense bill typically passes with widespread bipartisan support. Senator Tester doesn't believe the compromise bill will be on the president's desk until after the Labor Day recess. And that's a look at some of the day's top stories. Happy Friday, everybody. Hopefully everybody's had a wonderful start to the uh, weekend so far. TGIF as we cruise on in. Our local forecast coming up here in just a second. But first, what's going on across the U.S.? Again, they cannot catch a break down there in Phoenix. 115 on the heat Richter scale. Another day to add to the record of seeing at least 110 degrees. Well into the 20s now in, in terms of consecutive days. This may hold on until next week until you get a break there, but still very, very hot. Triple digits in Vegas, we'll go triple digits in Amarillo, Dallas as well, 100, uh, the century mark in Kansas City. Weather headlines for the 48, quickly, the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, slight risk of excessive rainfall. The Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, middle uh, Missouri Valley, enhanced risk of severe storms. And then we've already talked about the severe heat, the, the dangerous heat down there in the south. A look at our forecast coming up here in just a bit. The planning effort for the City of Helena's downtown multimodal and infrastructure plan has been ongoing since 2022. The last community outreach effort focused on multimodal transportation and the pedestrian mall. Part of the plan is to implement new infrastructure to better accommodate bicycles in downtown areas. Most downtown roadways don't have dedicated lanes for bikes. Bike accommodations are only found on bike boulevards, where they share travel lanes with vehicles. The plan includes adding dedicated bike lanes to more downtown roads to allow riders to travel at their own pace. Due to the width of most roads, the city would need to repurpose one side of on-street parking for the dedicated bike lanes. For the pedestrian mall, the city is considering changing code to allow bicycles and other non-motorized wheeled vehicles on the mall. There are three possible configurations the city has presented. They could leave the mall as is and just change it to a shared space add dedicated bike lanes with pedestrian traffic on the edges, or add bike lanes with pedestrian traffic in the center. I talked to some Helena locals to get their thoughts on adding bikes to the mall. They should probably make a, like a special bike pass because people go down here so fast and they don't really pay attention to the pedestrians. I don't think they just start drawing you know, marking off lanes on, on the walking mall, you know, on walls for walking. A public open house for the plan is being held on Thursday, August 3rd, and the city is taking comments on the plan until August 23rd. In downtown Helena, Rachel Fortunato, MTN News.